Hello, today I would like to show you an advanced crafting technique using applied energistics. Uh, many times whenever you're trying to do a on-demand craft, you still need to output into multiple faces of another block. Uh, in our example here, we're going to be looking at the industrial grinder, this industrial grinder, uh, and to craft with it, in some cases, we have to insert into both the top and the bottom of the grinder to get our desired output. For example, if we wanted to make a full pile of platinum dust, we'd have to get ferrous ore into the top and mercury cells into the bottom. And that can be a little bit difficult with applied energistics because, you know, your, your interface dumps out into the side facing it, as do, does your export bus. So uh, there are lots of solutions for this, but most of them involve another mod uh, with either, you know, pipes or tubes or, or some other machine that, that does some kind of sorting. Uh, and today we're going to solve this problem with just applied energistics. So this does, of course, assume that you've got an ME network set up, some kind of power, uh, whatever you need to, to run your normal operation. Uh, now, we are going to be doing platinum from a mercury cell and a piece of ferrous ore in this example. So the first thing that we're going to have to do is encode a blank pattern, and that's going to be done in our pattern encoder here. So we're just going to tell it one ferrous ore and one mercury cell gives us back one platinum dust. Encode. And now we need a place to put that encoded pattern, so we're going to put that into an ME interface, which is going to dump out into a chest, which is going to become a part of another network using this ME storage bus here. And then we're just going to need our routing equipment there, and a little bit of cabling, and we're going to use this EU reader here to see what kind of power we're using uh, for the solution, and it's, it's going to be pretty low here. So the first thing we want to do is look at our existing ME network, <coughs> find a good spot to put our ME interface on it, Bloop. and then put our assembly pattern inside there. We can see again, this will make one platinum dust from a mercury cell in the ferrosaur, and how it does it is your business, and we're about to make it our business. So we're going to take our chest here, and now whenever it requested, it dumps those contents down to this chest, and now we need to do something with it. So let's go ahead and set up a second ME network. It's going to wire off here, and we're going to drop our controller right there. That's fine. And then we're going to make this chest a part of the second network, and we're going to do that using the storage bus here and a little bit of ME cable. So we'll take our storage bus, put it right there, ME cable, and now this chest is a container on the second network. So whenever this dumps it out, it becomes part of the second network. And now we can just use the second network to manage mm, how we get everything in there. So we're going to come off the top here with a little bit more ME cable. And be careful not to touch this cable back to your original network. Uh, if you get two controllers on the same network, then they'll have a conflict and you won't be able to ex access either of them. It's, it's, it's going to be a bad time. So, let's come back here a little bit. Oop. No. I'm going to go up there. And we need to get one export bus on the bottom of our grinder. Uh, thanks, creative mode. Oop. And we'll walk around to the top there. One export bus on the top. Maybe. an import bus on the side and a little bit of ME cable to wrap it all up alright now we need to program this one to always spit out mercury cells and this one to always spit out ferrous ore and so what should happen now is anytime mercury cells or ferrous ore enter the second network they come out to this industrial grinder and it pulls all the product back in so whenever we issue a request here, all of that will automatically be dumped into the correct sides. But right now, it's not being returned back to our first network there, so we need to account for that. And we will use our third export bus here to dump out of the second network and back in the first. And remember, although you cannot connect your networks together um, for fear of controller conflict, you can put an export bus from one network facing a interface from another network, and, and that works just fine. They're, they're not considered to be on the same network. They, it doesn't attach from the front there. So what we should be able to do now is come back in here and tell it, hey, buddy, 
craft me up a platinum. And it will take the cells, or take the uh, the cell and the ore, and run them through there, and spit the product back into this chest where it will sit until we tell this export bus what to get rid of. And so we're going to tell it to get rid of the cell and all of the dust that comes out of there, and we're just going to put everything back into our parent network. And obviously you could do something else with the other stuff if you wanted to, but in this case we just want to put everything back into our primary network here. This is just a handler for us. Doop, doop, doop. Hmm? Okay. A little optical illusion there. Alright, and so we've got our three nickel dust, our empty cell, and our platinum dust back in here. Let's just go ahead and take all this back out. And looks like I've got enough for 64, so let's ask for a full stack of platinum dust and just see what happens. And we're going to go ahead and get our EU reader ready here because it does everything pretty quickly. So full stack, and let's check and see what our usage looks like. Okay, I feel like I've been here before. Alright, so we're using almost 6 EU per tick there, so that's not too bad. And when we look in our chest here, we should see all of our items coming out, well, fiddlesticks. We do see our, our output coming back through, though. Um, all, of, all of our uh, original materials, though, they, they came into this chest first, and they would have been kind of staged here. In fact, I'll, I'll run it through again just so you can see. Um, more than the machine can hold up there. But now everything's flickering back and coming back into our primary network here. So here's all of our stuff coming back as quickly as the grinder is processing it. Oop. No, don't start a new measurement. And there it is. Just processing all of our materials, just happy as a clam. So let's get a couple more materials just so you can see it pile up in the chest there and, and see that it's not a problem for us. Fair, us, or blind. And, no thank you. Mercury cells. And let's put all this in here. And let's get rid of our platinum dust, and let's ask for 128 more. Alright, so we should now see it being staged in this chest right here. And as soon as the grinder has room for it, and you'll see it puts its output out and another one goes in. So as long as you don't request more than the contents of your intermediate chest here, you should be just fine. And that is about it. Um, so the principle here is the principle here. This. So that's about it. Um, basically just craft up a, a similar pattern, put it in an interface, drop that in a second network um, that puts all your output into the target machine. And that should be it. Uh, thanks for watching. Have a great day.